Well, have you noticed that you're more comfortable in certain rooms of your home than in other rooms? Well, it could be because of the layout of the room, or it could be because of the feng shui. Tisha Morris is an expert in feng shui. She's here now to talk about how to make your entire home not only look great, but feel great based on the elements of feng shui. Welcome back to Talk of the Thank Town. It's so nice much. to see you yes. again. Okay, so I think a lot of folks don't really understand what feng shui is, and they think it's just kind of weird, and, you know, right. and all that. Explain it so that we can understand it and why it's important. Exactly. It can be really simple and fun because you can use just your everyday objects that you already have in your home or you can you know buy some new ones and it really is with the five elements it's like um, really the science behind decorating yeah and through my book it gives you some tips of how to pair these elements together and so your house is gonna look great and feel great all right we're gonna start with earth elements yeah. and, and who wouldn't love these right. kinds of things right <laughs> so earth elements is gonna it's going to make you feel more cozy. It's going to make your home feel more cozy. And so baskets and blankets are a great way to bring in the earth element. Yeah. So if you're needing more warmth in your house, if it's feeling a little cold and you mm -hmm. want to bring in some cozy, the earth element's the way that to go. That totally works. Yeah. All right. And when you talk about metal, it's not just actual metal, but, but right. things like, like stones and rocks. Yeah, that's the, the fun thing with these elements. They can bring them in their little literal form of metal but there's also, they come in shapes and colors and all kinds of things. So mm -hmm. rocks and gemstones are a metal element. And those are great if you're wanting more um, focus, more organization. That's what the metal element brings yeah. to the space and to your own energy. Well, and yeah. just adding beauty to your decor, too. Absolutely. That's just absolutely lovely. Yes. Um, having a live element in uh, mm -hmm. any room, I think, just adds a, a wonderful feeling. Yes. Tell me about this. So this is a terranium, and I love terraniums because they actually bring in several of the elements all within one piece. So here we have the glass, which is a water element. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, air plant is a plant. So all plants are wood elements. I even threw in a crystal there, so yeah. get more of that metal element too. Even the shape of that triangular shape brings in the fire element. So actually this little piece has all five elements. Oh wow. And that's really those items when really capture your attention, usually mm -hmm. has a combination of yeah. several elements. Wouldn't that be nice to put on a desk at work so that you'd mm -hmm. at least have a little feng shui even if your office didn't have right. that. <laughs> right. I love that. Exactly. Okay, this combines uh, two different elements. Mm -hmm. So fire, so fire brings in that passion, that energy, and you can bring it through candles. So here we have candles. Um, even if they're not lit, it still brings in that energy of the fire element. Yeah. And here it's paired with wood. So here's like real actual wood. Um, so yeah, when you again, when you combine the elements all in one piece, like that's that those are the items you see in the store that really capture your attention right. and tell me where all these beautiful things came from yeah welcome home in east nashville is so so generous and um uh helping us out for today that's nice so okay so you've got to start with decluttering your home right yes thank you for making that point because this is what you know a lot of people want to go and buy a bunch of things to you know for their home but really the first step is decluttering removing what you don't want because you want to love everything in your home and so it's kind of like in your closet you want to you know remove what you're not wearing anymore the same with your home decor you want to you know, remove the items that don't really resonate with you anymore mm -hmm. and uh, and then you can give yourself permission to go out and buy. <laughs> and how do you figure out how to how to organize it all so that it's in a feng shui style? I mean, I guess that's why we need your book, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, one of the fun things about my book is we actually, each of us have a dominant element within us. So for example, you're probably uh, fiery, a little fire element. And yeah. so you would do well with bringing in some more water elements to help balance you out. And okay. so my book gives you some, so you can find out what element you are and help decorate around your own energy. It's a fascinating concept. Thank you so yes. much. Thank Appreciate you. you sharing that with us. The book is called Decorating with the Five Elements of Feng Shui. Tisha is going to be teaching a four-week online class on the topic starting Monday, November 16th. If you'd like to register for that course or for more information, you can go to our website at newschannel5.com. We will link you to all the information.